Want to find out what's the easiest way to kill Balinor? Well, today I'm going to tell you guys what is not only the easiest way, but the fastest way to kill her and what pal synergy will work the best when trying to take her out. Now, she just dropped some amazing stuff, so let's take a look at what she actually drops. So to get it off, guys, she's going to drop the following. She's going to drop a training manual. She's going to drive the ancient civilization core. She will drop a training crystal. She will drive a multiple mate uh, undershirt. And she will also be dropping a egg that will allow you to get her as one of your main pals. So as you guys notice right here, she's running the streets right here. Here she is. So you will be able to get her uh, once you kill her. All right. So with that being said, now the question is, what is the fastest way to kill her? As you guys noticing right there, I what, didn't even struggle. I think it took me like maybe two to three minutes. I didn't really time it. But a lot of people have been saying it takes them 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, to me, this was like what I wouldn't say an easy fight. You just have to have the right synergy. So what exactly is a synergy? Well, first thing is we know we, we know Bellinor is a dark pal and being a dark pal, we know that she is very vulnerable when it comes to ice, uh, dragon and fire. So what we did here is guys, we went into our pal box and we, uh, are able to, I'm going to talk about certain pals. I'm going to tell you the ones I recommend and the ones I feel like are easy to obtain. And then I'm going to give you the ones that are a little bit harder to obtain and the way I did the composition. So the main thing you want to get, guys, is either get a Foxicle. Now, this is going to be a very easy pal to obtain, but I'm going to give you guys a crucial thing that I think a lot of people overlook when doing these fights that is causing them to struggle. OK, so a Foxicle is a really, really good one. This is going to be like your like low base one, the one I would recommend uh, you use. Uh, if you're not able to get the other ones, I'm going to mention. Okay, so the Foxicle is going to be like the one you want to use. Uh, the next one, guys, it, actually, let me, uh, the next one, the Foxicle, I'll show you guys exactly where they spawn uh, once I'm done explaining this. So the Foxicle, really good pal. He, has, he does ice. He also comes with some, um, some, some dark magic. But I'm going to show you guys one of the mistakes a lot of people make. Next up, we have Siblex. Now, this one this is like pretty much, in my opinion, a requirement. If you want to kill her, this, this guy will make your life a lot easier. So if you have the possibility of, you know, going into your, your pal box, right? And just putting a bunch of these in here so they could get ready to fight. You just got to put a bunch of them right here. Okay. And I'll tell you exactly what you're going to be looking for when you, you equip these, right? Just put a bunch of them in here. You should be set. I mean, you're going to be set because that, that, that is by far one of the best ones. Okay. Now he's going to be really, really good. And I'll explain why in a little bit. The next one we have is Frost Stallion. Now I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have Frost Stallion. If you started playing the game, you probably don't have one, but if you have a couple of these, I would suggest you equip these. Now there's going to be a way of balancing this because you can't go full ice because it's not going to work out. Okay. You can't go full ice and I'll explain exactly how this works. Um, so basically the priority would be like, if you don't have a Siblex, if you don't have a First Stallion, get a bunch of Foxicles. If you have a lot of Siblex or are able to farm a lot of Siblex, I would recommend Siblex over Foxicles. And uh, I would still recommend a couple for Stallions, maybe two to three. But if you have enough Siblex, you should be perfectly fine. So let me show you guys exactly on the map where you're going to be able to find these. So you'll be able to find the uh, for Stallions. Uh, the, you'll be able to find the Foxicles. You're able to find them like right here. Uh, you're able to find a Siblix right here and the first stallion, as you guys already know, it's a main boss. So you'll be able to kill him right here. But the Siblix, you're going to be able to find him here. Uh, for stallions, uh, you're going to be able to find right here as well. And really, really easy to find. So majority, just go to the ice area. You'll be able to find all three of them without a problem. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's talk a little bit about the mistakes a lot of people make. So one of the biggest mistakes people make is when they're using these pals, for example, I'm going to show you this one right here, and this would be a perfect mistaken example. When you're using these pals and you're going to fight her, uh, a lot of people don't come and change these. So you basically want this right here. So for example, this is a big mistake for me because he's going to be shooting uh, He's going to be shooting dark damage on here. I don't need him to shoot dark damage, so I'm going to look for something nice. All right, so you're just going to go through every one that you have on here. For example, this is another one. He only has one. So you're going to want to make sure you put all the ice, all right? You want to make sure you put all the ice because that's that. this is one of the biggest mistakes I think a lot of people are struggling with. You just want to make sure you check every one that you have. Like, for example, this one right here. Once again, another mistake. He has dark magic. We want to put ice. 
all right and then you're going to go through all the ones you have here that are going to be available for you guys for example this one right here let's go ahead switch this over so we don't have that we're going to go and teach him a skill we got to make sure we teach him uh you know ice magic because he's not going to help us out if he only has one uh, so you're going to go over this one check what this one has okay so you're going to switch this over to ice and that's going to help you guys make sure you do a lot of damage here because she is super tanky okay this is going to allow you to kill her really quick so you just want to make sure you go over through all your characters and just make sure they either have ice or they have um or or they have dark magic or fire damage now the other one I, I hardly recommend is the German Tide Ignis. This is going to put in the work. Now, the thing is you want to make sure you're synergizing this very well with the characters that you currently have. So what you want to do is you want to have a bunch of ice pals right here. So you want to have a ton of these. Okay, so let me move her over here. So you want to have a ton of uh, a bunch of ice pals. I would recommend um, kind of having this setup that I have right here. So you want to have four uh, German Tide Ignis. All right and everybody ice now if you don't have a german tide ignis you could also go with um with this one right here which is the one i here i have here i call him speedy but you could go with this guy as well he's really really good he does dragon damage but the reason we prefer german tide ignis and i'll give you guys another one just in case you don't have a german tide ignis there's a synergy you want to do here um is because he has the ability of uh being able to not only do dragon damage all right he does dragon damage which uh Bellinor is uh very takes a lot of damage on but he's also able to do fire so fire and dragon both compensate for each other allowing him to do double the damage not double the damage but do enough damage with both elements that makes her very vulnerable okay so that's why German Tide Ignis is one of the best ones. Now, if you find another pal that has dragon and fire or fire and dragon, that is basically what you want to go with. And you just want to make sure you guys, you go through the list here and you see what, uh, you know, what you have. Primarily, you want to have more dragon than fire because dragon is more powerful than the fire one, at least as it comes in the synergy uh, concept of the game. Uh, but once you have that synergy set up, so you want to make sure you have ice, 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 uh, primarily the ideal here would be like let me let me show you guys my ideal build here so i'm gonna go to the um i'm gonna go here pretty much to let me let me just start by uh elements and we're gonna go and just want to make sure we have a bunch of these guys the siblings so i'm gonna move this siblings right here replace this foxicle and if i don't have any more foxicles you could either you could do this one but this one does ground which is not good uh but i personally feel that that is going to be the best combo so a bunch of siblings, uh, a bunch of first stallions. If you have a bunch of first stallions, I have uh, I have three first stallions, no, two first stallions in here, uh, and the three first stallions. And I would say you just want a bunch of siblings, all right? If you don't have siblings, you want to make sure that, and you want to have German Tide Ignites four, German Tide Ignites. That's going to help you kill her really, really fast and allow you to do this battle with uh, within less than three minutes. It's going to take you such a short time. Now, if you notice here, all of these are not fully maxed out. Uh, so what you also want to do uh, to make sure you do even more damage, you're going to look at your first stallion. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your inventory and grab one of these, which is the local moco. And basically what the local moco is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to do 20% more damage for a period of time. So you're going to want to make sure you feed that to your, uh, you know, your first stallions. All right. If you have three of them. And you want to make sure you feed them to your German Tide Ignites. And if you have enough, you can feed them to every every pal if you want to. But if you just have two to three or four, uh, it's either going to be German Tide or it's going to be a uh, first stallion that you want to make sure are fed with that uh, local moco, giving you that 20% damage. Now, as far as you are concerned, I was using a rocket launcher. Uh, I used, I would say, maybe 10 rockets in the play, in the playthrough I did here. Um, I could be wrong. I maybe used less or more. But you're just going to want to make sure you at least have 25 rockets. If you don't have rockets, uh, an assault rifle would be very, very well. Uh, that should let you do uh, a lot of good damage. I just feel like the rockets do enough damage where you're not wasting too many bullets. And overall, in general, guys, that is the fastest way to kill Bellinor. Now, if you found this video helpful, informative, if you did, do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. And don't forget to check out this video on how to farm every single legendary that's brand new to the game. And I will catch you guys on the next video.